brilliant relationships aren't just partnerships that are um, always aligned and you know fun experiences there's also this this tension this healthy tension in there which I think um, we have to acknowledge Well, as a chief product officer, I can imagine you work very closely with your chief technology officer. How do you go about building strong relationship between the C-level and just eTakeaway.com? Strong relationships are, you know, the backbone of a performing business because, you know, those strong trusting relationships are what help us go faster, what help us make good decisions, understand each other, align all of those things that we need to do. Um, Our CTO, Mert, is um, somebody I have a great relationship with and we really operate as a partnership. We totally recognize the strength in uh, being a team and we absolutely have each other's back. You know, and when there are those difficult decisions to make and those difficult times that we all face, it is great to have that partner alongside me who I can talk it through with and um, help me make a decision. I have product and tech expertise and I bring that to the table and I have other expertise as well, but I recognize that the other people sitting around the table with me, they have so much to bring. And so I always approach it with a kind of curious mindset, which is what strengths do these other people have? What do they know that I don't know? How do I um, get the best out of them and learn from them? Um, Like I'm actually not very experienced in sales and uh, on that side of things. So, um, I am later this year going to be a sales intern with our um, with our sales team because I recognize what they're bringing to the table and I want to know more. doesn't mean that I'm trying to learn and be able to do their job. I just am curious and want to understand it better and I recognize that. Um, and I think uh, as a team at Just Eat Takeaway, we all come with that mindset. We also come with the mindset that challenge is healthy and I think that that is really important there has to be a healthy tension there to make sure that you're reaching the edges of decisions and that you are um and that you're really asking yourselves the the questions you need to to be at your best so brilliant relationships aren't just partnerships that are um always aligned and you know fun experiences there's also this this tension this healthy tension in there which i think um we have to acknowledge very true it's, I can imagine, also very time consuming. It's something that we need to take some time out of our calendars to build those relationships, to get to know people, to build that trust that's needed. Um, in your busy schedule, is it time consuming? Can you make time? Well, it is time consuming, but I think it's essential to make time. I also don't think that only applies at this level. I think anybody in an organization has a set of stakeholders and people that they need to work well with and um, it's always a mistake to um, deprioritize building those relationships over you know operational or executable work because in the long term those relationships are what help us move faster and move together so I try to make the time to meet with my colleagues in the executive committee Um, I have regular one-to-ones with them um, whenever I can, when we're traveling or we're in the same location, um, I always try and go out for dinner or a drink and, and have a chat and get to know them on a personal level as well as um, in work. And um, I find that works really well. Very good. Looking back on your career, is there an advice you've been given that you believe that every C-level exec should bear in mind? The key piece of advice I've been given is about really achieving clarity and really extreme clarity. Um, because often that's actually what we're lacking and that's why people get a slightly different view of what we think we've agreed and that can lead to misalignment or not necessarily hitting the goal that we think we will. This is not about dictating clarity, but just making sure that there is real clarity amongst everybody and we've had the opportunity to talk about all of the, the permutations or all of the elements that need to come into making that decision. And as that goes down your organisation... It's really powerful because the colleagues within your organization with that clarity understand almost the, the, the guardrails within which they operate. And it's actually very empowering for them because they understand with clarity what we're trying to achieve, why, and the space that they are able to operate in. 
And it means that they don't have to keep asking, can I do this or should we do that? They're empowered to go and make that change, which again, it drives pace, but it also creates like purpose and meaning and empowerment, which we know are things that make people feel happy. And when people feel happy, they perform better. And I'm a strong believer in putting people into positions where they can play to their strengths and where they feel great because that's where we get the most out of them.